Hey YouTube family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So question for the day is, how real are you with your partner? Stay tuned. <laughs> I love me 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 so first of all if this is your very first time to I love me 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 and you love videos like this make sure that you hit that red subscribe button down below so now the question of the day is how real are you when you are with your partner so I hear a lot of people <laughs> say certain things that I'm kind of like scratching my head about and for some reason they kind of take it for not really for granted but for some reason they just don't understand that you have to be all of you around your boo and if your boo cannot accept the real you with your mask taken off why are you with them so here are some of the things that I hear when people talk about how they are not real around their boo even though they think that they just trying to keep it together they want to you know they want to keep them around whatever it is like, you got to be real with your partner. And they need to see all of you bare naked. Literally, bare naked. Like, I hear some people actually say that they don't even have sex with the lights on. What? I'm not saying that it has to be an every time thing. But you have never seen your boo in all their glory. Every time y'all have sex is in the dark. You ain't being real. Or... <laughs> This one is controversial. I don't care. You ain't never passed gas in front of your boo. Why not? Everybody fart. Sorry, men. So, so, sorry. Women don't women don't poot. We fart too. It's probably just as stanky as yours. We fart too. Or burp. Slash belch. Whatever word you want to use. We do those things too. Gas comes out of us. Just like it come out of you. If you can't burp or fart around your boo, I mean, I personally think that's an issue with that. I know some people are going to have a problem with that. Oh, that's not ladylike. Yes, it is. Because everybody fart. Actually, uh, if, if you don't know, you actually fart more in your sleep. So your boo have probably already heard you fart anyway. You just didn't know. They just didn't ever say anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get it out. Uh, the next thing is the number two. I know, again, controversial. I don't care. You're not being real if your boo has not smelled your little stanky butt. Literally. Like me and my boo, I know, TMI, but we keep the door open and have conversations with each other. Other couples do this. Like, it is a normal thing. Sorry, it is. Nobody said that it smelled good. But we're talking. We need to finish the conversation. <laughs> Seriously, though, we need to finish that conversation. But I, I just need to get some out of me. Just saying. Are you one of those women that walk around all the time with makeup? Like, before your man get up, you you spruced up. I mean, you didn't went and did full damn face. Really? Like, every time, you're going to keep that up your entire relationship? What if y'all get married? A lot of us talking about the death do your part, so you're going to do that 30, 50, 30, yeah, 30, 50. You're going to do that 30 or 50 years? What? No, ma'am. No, sir. Like, I don't even wear a whole lot of makeup. And, and, and truth be told, I actually love the lighting on this stuff. I mean, not that I have a whole bunch of blemishes, but I don't, I don't wear foundation. Like, this is my skin. This, this is it. Like, I, yeah, there, there is no makeup here. I, I do some eyes and I do a little bit of uh, the eyebrows. But th this is it. So when it come off, you still, th th I still look the same way. <laughs> my, my, your makeup is supposed to enhance what you already have, not cover up everything. Even if you get scars, so what? So what? They need to see all of you. So no makeup. If you a person that always have weave in your hair, I'm not even knocking weave. Like, let's not even do that. I'm not knocking weave. But your partner need to see you without weave sometimes. That's all I'm saying. They need to see that you actually got some damn hair. Keeping it all the way real today. How often do you or your partner bathe or shower? Because some people don't do it every day. Just saying. Just saying. These are things that you need to know, especially if you are talking about going for the long term. Because you might be one of those people who need to shower three, four times a motherfucking day. Yeah, I curse. I did today. 
Because I'm just like, it's, it's so much. These are things that are just crazy to me when I hear people say that they don't know about their partner. Why not? Okay, let's take it a little bit deeper. Have y'all talked about the hurts and pains that you guys have experienced? Have you cried in front of your boo? Like I'm talking about one of them just ugly, nasty, snot running down your face cries. Maybe you don't need to go there, but I'm just saying, if you happen to go there, are you going to be embarrassed and running out of the room? Because you don't want them to see how ugly you could be. Like when you talk about hurts and pains, that's not a comfortable thing. Like you're not all happy and cheerful and go lucky and yay, yay. This happened to me and guess what? I was just so great about it later. No, you hurting. Get it out. Get it out your system. Crying actually cleanses the system. It cleanses you. Let it go. Have you talked about your possible baggage that could um, make your relationship actually suffer? Have you two opened up and had a real conversation about that? Because all of this is wrapped up into who you are, what makes you you, and the person has to actually like you for you, not the facade. Again, not the masks that you show the world. They need to be happy with you and all of you. All of your good and all of your bad. Think about it. Take these, in, take these things into your relationship and actually apply them. Because some of these things might be a deal breaker for you or even your partner. And you have no idea. Because you're hiding behind this wall that you have up. It's okay. All of us are human. All of us have faults. All of us have flaws. It's a matter of if you can deal with them or not. And you have to let your partner be the one to decide.